At the University of Iowa, within the Iowa Technology Institute and the College of Engineering, Mubin's research group explores areas related to electrochemical engineering, such as water treatment, carbon dioxide fixation, and grid-scale energy storage. My name is Saeed Mubin, and I'm an associate professor in chemical and biochemical engineering department. One way to look at electrochemical engineering is uh, production of chemicals using electricity rather than the conventional thermal energy that is used in typical chemical industries uh, or production of electricity from chemicals um, again uh, different than the conventional fossil fuel uh, fossil energy sources where uh, heat is used for electricity so anything to do with electricity and chemicals um, comes under the category of electrochemical engineering my lab uh, works on um, uh, application of electrochemistry and then develops electrochemical cells and systems uh, and then uh, these electrochemical cells and systems um, play a key role in a wide range of industry sectors um, you know from renewable energy to energy conservation to energy storage um, to pollution control pollution monitoring uh, with respect to greenhouse gas reduction and uh, also on health applications. Um, so it, it, it's a broader area that has been growing significantly in the recent years. Um, specifically, the growth has been driven um, uh, by the, um, you know, uh, with the hope that, um, you know, renewable energy is going to be, play a major role in our future energy mix. So if we could electrify the way the chemicals and the fuels are synthesized one could see the pathway of running these industries using electricity mubin's research group has nine students and one postdoctoral researcher blending science and engineering to solve pressing problems they come from varied disciplines such as chemical engineering chemistry biomedical engineering and physics Hi, my name is Jacob Fields and I'm a researcher here in Dr. Mabine's lab at the University of Iowa. I did my undergraduate work at Purdue uh, where I became interested in renewable energy technology uh, like fuel cells originally. I thought it was very interesting, um, interesting problem to solve, uh, you know, global warming and CO2 and greenhouse gases. Um, and so I thought that there might be some way I could contribute to developing technologies to combat that. So here in Mobin's lab, we use electrochemical methods uh, and catalysts to either drive reactions of interest, which I'll describe later, or in energy conversion, so in the fabrication of things like solar cells, which Shilji will talk about later. So my work specifically focuses on methods for converting carbon dioxide into products like formic acid and methane, as well as some other products. Uh, that could be used for fuels or in the chemical industry. Hi, I'm Shudra Shri Vijay. I'm a second year PhD graduate student in Dr. Mobin's research group. To start with my background, I'm from India. I was born and raised in Mangalore, which is an Arabian seaport and also a major hub of chemical industries from oil and gas, petrochemicals to chemical fertilizers. Now this might give you a hint what, what my career trajectory is and why I chose chemical engineering as my career. So my research thesis is on developing highly efficient and cost effective photoelectrochemical cells for sustainable hydrogen production. I know it sounds like a big topic but then our main agenda is to produce hydrogen fuel through water splitting using specialized semiconductors and catalysts. There are various mature techniques out in the market which are expensive, but then what drives me to do this research is that our aim is to produce these materials cost effectively. So this is an electrodeposition of cadmium selenide semiconductor. Here, as we see in the uh, picture slide, so this is the experimental setup which I'll be showing there, and the final product or the se uh, semiconductor would look like this. So it's a simple electrodeposition technique. Next aim would be to make a nanowire based configuration of these to which which all which we also believe that is better for enhanced hydrogen production. And finally we would be having a multi-junction 
setup of the semiconductors which can either be stacked or, or which can be kept parallel and as a whole device it would be giving higher efficiencies and higher photocurrent density which is very much important for hydrogen production. Also extremely rewarding because you work with these um, uh, young minds like I mean they um, you, know, you learn a lot from them and um, you know that I mean it's it's, um, it's rewarding to see their passion on these projects it's not just um, me being passionate about about these problems it's uh, it's to look at the the next generation of task force um, you know rising up to the challenges and um, you know and, and in fact uh, it, it's a mutual learning experience um, I mean I learn as much from them and um, and hopefully they learn as much um, uh, from me as well so so that's it's, it's been an, an, an extremely rewarding